people now. That which lies ahead does not yet exist. <laughs> Our world will become a part of it one day, but I will not end, nor will I have you end. This is... The Edge of Creation. <clears throat> Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right.
Thank you. W mutual aid, W mutual aid. So, what now? Uh... Sephiroth. As long as he's still out there, I... I thought you beat him. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. I'm in too. Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. Almost there, Cloud. We're almost there. I miss it. The steel sky. I would be lost drifting alone. Wow. We don't listen to music, we don't let it uh fade out real quick. Yeah. 
And with that, and with that, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, and they, them friends, we have finished the game. Let's go. Let's go. Um, while the credits are playing, 
I'm actually going to adjust the battery as well. Feeling a little bit better again. It's a little bit frustrated at points, but uh, we 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 got we we did it, y'all. Um, I love Final Fantasy. Y'all know this. Um, I haven't played every Final Fantasy, but uh, I've watched all the films. Um, I'm a fan of the the animated series that they've had. I'm a fan of the video series. Uh, I think this was such a great return. Uh, personally to the gaming side of Final Fantasy. Um, and I really appreciate everybody who took time to to come along with us on this journey. Uh, I think it was an interesting one. <laughs> there were there were some very uh, interesting side quests. Uh, there were some not so interesting side quests. There were some interesting villains, some not so interesting villains. I think whenever you're doing a remake, it's a it's a challenging endeavor because you're not starting with the novel idea. You're not starting with the ability. You're not starting with the full ability to create something from your own idea and vision. You you're to to please the fans, to please stakeholders or whoever. Um, you do have to stay true to to a great extent to the source material and so knowing that um from all accounts especially uh, critical reviews uh it did hold true to the core story from the original again i didn't play the original um i only know it from secondhand information and things that folks have told me um but the game that came out what 20 30 years ago um this being the remake of it and not only being able to hold true to the story but also adding a lot of new updated dimensions not just in terms of the visual graphics but we look at even like um uh, and I'm, I'm probably gonna say the wrong chapter but i think it was like chapter nine or chapter ten um when we were um going through uh the sewers or it was like right after we had finished going through the sewers and we were learning more uh about uh wall market and that community and and what it was like for people to exist in that space and you just you saw the like the layers and layers and layers of different people who were in the space uh and just what they had to offer uh to the the whole universe and you know cloud and Jesse and Wedge and Biggs and Aerith and Tifa and Barrett. Again, I think the two outstanding things in terms of, uh, I get yeah, I guess we could say critique. I, I, I say the two main things in terms of critique would be one, just a lot of the the characters uh, that were key to the story. I just don't know if they had their full valued appreciated. Uh, Barrett, uh, as a black person, seeing the way they wrote Barrett was just deeply uncomfortable. Uh, I just felt uh, just culturally off base. It felt very steeped in stereotypes and tropes, uh, and it just didn't feel, feel like it had a lot of care and intention that other characters, like I'd say Aerith, Sep Sephiroth, Cloud, you know, some of the other characters, uh, you know not as much as Kara's intention as they got and so it was a little bit disappointing to see that um and also we saw that uh, a lot with the other several other women characters including jesse including tifa as well uh, again we cho we joked about it being an anti-tifa you know this this channel being an anti-tifa account but it, you know it's it's you know it's just all fun and games uh the character at the core i really enjoyed tifa but I do think it just suffered very similar to what Barrett's character suffered in terms of just not having a lot of support in terms of like the full development of the character. Uh, there ended up being a lot of um, uh, stereotypes and tropes. There ended up being a lot of off base jokes that just really didn't land, um, at least in a Western, you know, U.S. context. Um, there were a lot of things where it's just like, why, why can't um why can't this character, you know, like grow and develop, you know, and be better over time, things like that. And um, outside of that, I think the only real thing, and I was so serious about this, but the expressway fights that we had to do on the bike were terrible, flat out terrible. Um, beyond Corneo and how gross he was beyond some of the like extremely long and unnecessary side quests beyond the hell house fight which was the hell house was absolutely improperly coded there's no reason that it should have been that difficult on no more mode um 
yeah, outside, outside of those things, which kind of feels you know, a little bit armchair dev ish to say, um, yeah, absolutely. The expressway uh, fights were terrible. Uh, I, I just, there's just no redeeming factor to them. Um, uh, both of them, there are only two, but both of them were so, they're such negative experiences for me <laughs> that like, as much as I'd love to give this a nine or a nine, 9.5 out of 10, it, I have to, you know, max it out. I have to bring it down to, to an eight out of 10, I think. Um, bring it down to an eight out of 10 to me is fair, not only because of the way that the characters like Barrett, like Tifa, like some of the other women characters were written, uh, in my opinion, poorly, uh, but also the expressway fights took a big chunk of credibility off of this title. Uh, and then also, um, again, all the logistical things of like the Hell House fight and, you know, like some of the side quests. Um, you know, not really feeling worth the time again. And this is coming from someone who loves side quests. And if like given the opportunity, I will spend 13, 14, 15 hours doing side quests if they're good. Uh, and I just didn't feel that way, unfortunately. Um, but I think overall, again, I am enthralled with this. I'm really, uh, you know, we we're taking a leap of faith streaming this while we were doing this playthrough. Um, and so, you know, folks that showed up, folks that support it throughout the journey i know folks you know we stream kind of sporadically so i know now everyone caught every part of the journey um but uh, we will be uploading highlights to our youtube channel but um yeah just appreciate everyone who's along for the journey i think it was uh, overall it's a beautiful game even though with a rating of eight out of ten um 3.5 out of five stars you know i I still feel like the game is absolutely worth it. Granted, we got it. We got the game on sale, but, um, and you know, it's a couple of years old at this point and, you know, it came out in 2020, it's 2023 now, but, um, it, it, the, the, the rush, the ride of emotions that you get, like, you know, I only get upset about the way that they wrote Baird and Tifa, uh, and Aerith's mom and, you know, all these, I only get upset about it because like you get so invested in the larger story, you get so invested in like where like this is actually taking it. So it's like, Oh, Shinra. And then you have to think about Sephiroth. You have to think about like all the, you know, why are the specters, you know, which we later find out are called whispers, you know, around there, all the different things. And it just seems to be in a space where it's just like, you want, you want the story to succeed you want these moments like we see on screen now with like Leslie, you know, trying to get revenge against Corneo, um, you know, like people, you know, thinking about how Avalanche actually has an impact, um, you know, like we want to think about those opportunities and those scenes as, as ways to pull people in. And I think uh, when you dot your I's and cross your T's and you take care of the little things, uh, I think you end up with a, a solid product. And again, I, I think this was a solid product. I think what we got out of this game was worth our time. Uh, we'll have to wait till the credits finish to find out the full time. But I think, you know, we probably spent about 35 uh, hours uh, maybe a little bit more definitely i'm pretty sure under 40 um and for the game i think uh, you know it's worth it's worth the it's worth the, the price of that mission and I, I think for what we estimate it to be a 30 hour game uh to still accomplish it in, a, in approximately that amount of time um i think for me uh yeah also is, is a solid uh, value proposition there as well so um Again, I, 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 if you all enjoyed this, enjoyed this commentary, I know it's, there's definitely times for chat to engage and help drive the direction of this playthrough, but um, also in other games, uh, both in the Final Fantasy franchise, as well as like Baldur's Gate, you know, other games like that. There's a lot more opportunities to do that. And that's what I'd like to bring to the channel and bring to uh, you all as a community. So if this is something that you all like to see me do more, uh, definitely, you know, sh shout off different suggestions that you have, uh, games that I should keep my eye out for, as well as any suggestions of things that like, hey, this is like really hot right now. Um, and we just be really cool to, you know, stream and engage because, uh, the part of the story missions, the part of the story, uh, based games rather, uh, 
uh, story based games now, the part that really drives me and, and pulls me in is that like you can one never play it the same way twice it's always going to be slightly different but then two you have this really cool opportunity to bring in community members a part of the story and help you make decisions and help you figure out how you want to approach things and so um, I don't know if we're going to come back and do a replay of this uh, specifically but um, I think uh, in the future, uh, it's something, you know, we wouldn't have the ability to do. And I know, again, we kind of previewed this already, Starfield. Starfield is coming out the first the first or second week in September, which we're, we're about two, two, three weeks away at this point. And knowing that Starfield is RPG, uh, there's going to be a lot of decisions that you'll have to make as a part of that journey. And you'll never, you know have the same experience twice playing that game and so you know maybe want to take an all villainous route and you know just shoot, do all the violent timelines in starline uh starfield or maybe we want to be more of a pacifist we can do that and so uh you coming in uh you know definitely following subscribing on youtube turning on notifications uh staying tuned to that process for me i i, I promise you it's gonna it's gonna be a great opportunity and uh I'm really excited because I know that there's such great potential to, to have a lot of good time with you all uh, as we build out those those memories together. But this game, uh, Final Fantasy Square Enix in particular, uh, just has a special place in my heart also because y'all know I love Kingdom Hearts as well. And um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a uh, it's a special thing uh, to finish it. You know, this last playthrough going on six hours. <laughs> Uh, but I think it was worth it, and I appreciate all of you all being here. I know I've said it so many different times, thank but... Thank you for your patronage. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for being here. Thank you for supporting. Uh, thank you for being a part of this wild roller coaster uh, we call, <laughs> we call uh, playthrough. yeah square enix hit me up um I'm, I'm trying i'm trying to get sponsored i'm trying to get sponsored hit me up baby baby i'm available